Now how we are going to take the heading? Let us see the procedure. Now this is the screw gauge. So hold this wicket and move this wicket in anti-clockwise direction such that these two stud and the, the screw opens up. The gap between them increases. The object which you, whose length or whose diameter has to be measured is fixed between these two. Insert the given wire between the screw and the stud of the screw gauge. Or if a glass plate is there, insert the glass plate between glass plate or, or sheet. Insert the sheet between the stud of the screw gauge and the screw. Now move it in an opposite direction so that the screw tightly holds that object. Lock the screw gauge here and you have to take the reading of pitch scale and the head scale. So let us see how to take the reading. So first hold the knob and rotate. Now rotate this in such a way that here it opens up. Now fix the object between the two. Object is inserted. Now rotate it back so that it gets fixed over here. Now start measuring the number of divisions on pitch scale. So here starting from 0, this is 1 division, 2 division, 3 division, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So along this line how many divisions are seen? Check it. So if it has not crossed the 10, so you have to take the division as pitch scale reading as 9 millimeter. If it has crossed the 10th division, then pitch scale reading will be 10 millimeter. Now on the head scale here, how many divisions it has crossed, we need to check it. If 15, 16, 17, 18, if you consider, this is the 20th division which you take it here. So if this is 20th division, so the pitch scale reading or head scale reading, this index line is with respect to which division on the head scale you check. So if this is 20 division, head scale reading is 20, pitch scale reading is 9. So pitch scale reading 9 millimeter, head scale reading is 20 division. Multiply this with least count and calculate and add with the index scale reading or the pitch scale reading. So step 1, first rotate the screw, find the pitch of the screw. That is the number of divisions moved by the screw or number of rotations by the number of rotations made. Now once you know the pitch of the screw, find the least count. Least count is equal to pitch of the screw divided by number of divisions on head scale. For example, pitch of the screw is 1 millimeter, number of division is 100. We can write this as 0 0.01 millimeter. Third step, find the zero error. It can be if possible, zero error positive or negative or what type of zero error it is there. So find the zero error if any. So sometimes the instrument will not have zero error. Step 4. Now insert the given object between the screw and the stud of the screw gauge. Move the screw forward by rotating the ratchet till the object is gently gripped between the screw and the stud. Stop rotating the ratchet. The moment you hear a click sound. Now fifth step. First take the reading of the pitch scale. Take the reading of pitch scale. Now take the reading of head scale. Using these readings we can calculate thickness or the diameter of the object. Using these readings we can calculate the thickness or the diameter of the object. Subtract or add zero error if any with proper sign to get the corrected value of the diameter or the thickness of the object.